Skull and Bones has been in development for a very long time. And every time we finally think we're going to get our hands on the game, there's delay. After delay. After delay. After de With the game being delayed over and over again, many have wondered if this game is truly ever going to come out. We didn't see much of the game at this year's Ubisoft Forward. All we really got is a song and dates for a closed beta. But surprisingly, we have footage of said closed beta. And I went over it, and I'm going to give you my initial thoughts of Skull and Bones. And yeah, I know, I'm a little late to the party. About a month late. But you know the saying, it's better late than never. Even if the hype for the party is gone, and there's nobody at the party but me. The first thing I'll say about this game is that the graphics are incredible. The ships, the characters, the water, the sky, everything in this game looks amazing. And honestly, if the best thing I can say about Skull and Bones, if or when this game does officially release, is that the graphics are incredible, then it's probably not that good of a game. The next thing I want to talk about is character customization. I think people are going to enjoy customizing their character because there's a lot you can do. You have different skin tones, body types, body cosmetics, eye colors, hair, and facial hair. One of the things I'm going to do is get one of those foggy eyes that have a scar around that eye. I think it's going to look pretty cool. I mean, not in real life. In real life, you'd probably get picked on. Aha, you have a messed up eye. That's probably why pirates wear eye patches. Another thing I'm going to really like about this game is the naval combat. It is similar to Black Flag, but I think there's a little bit more freedom. While you're aiming with the left trigger or whatever you do on PC, you can swivel around all you want. You're not just stuck to that side like you are in Black Flag. And it is a good thing that naval combat looks so much fun. Because it seems like there's not much to do on land. On land is where you will accept different quests and you can buy new ships, new weapons for your ships. You can buy different things for your character to wear. Like an eye patch for your messed up eye. All of that stuff. But as far as I can tell, there's not much you can do on land. I haven't seen much land exploration, which kind of sucks. Pirates did more than sail the high seas and get scurvy. They went on land, not just to buy stuff, but to explore. And if you can't explore the land in Skull and Bones, that's going to be a real problem, especially for a $70 game. And for a game that's inspired by Black Flag, which had a lot of land exploration. There's also no land combat, which again, sucks. But you can watch two people punch each other in the face, which seems like a punch in the face by Ubisoft, because you can't punch those people in the face. You can only watch. Another negative for this game is that you can't board ships. Well, technically you can, but it's just a cutscene. In Black Flag, when you severely damaged another ship, you were able to Tarzan over to that ship, and you had a certain amount of people to kill in order to take that ship, which was cool. And in Skull and Bones, you can't do that, which is not cool. The final thing I want to talk about is a little nitpick, but in this game, you're able to cut down trees for resources. The problem is, you're cutting down these trees while you're in your ship. It looks like a ghost is cutting down a tree. It don't look right. I don't know why you can't just get out of your ship and cut down the tree like a normal person, but you can't. 
And that's okay, because it's a nitpick. There's much bigger problems for this game, like actually finishing and releasing it. So if Ghost chopping down trees is the fastest way to get this game released, then I'll take it. Well, those are my thoughts from the Better Late Than Never Skull and Bones closed beta gameplay footage. A game that seems like it'll be a lot of fun to go around in your ship and fight other ships, but could get boring very quickly if there's nothing else to do. By the way, this gameplay footage is from the Rad Brad. Link to the video is in the description. Go check it out. Great video, great channel. And honestly, the Rad Brad is pretty rad. And I don't say that often or ever. But that's gonna do it for this video. What do you think so far about Skull and Bones? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I'm Running Man Zero, and I'll see you next time.